Well, Dan and Lila Redding of Redding Farms have opened their private land north of Rudyard to paleontologists for the past 35 years. One section of their land has produced more than a dozen dinosaur skeletons. MTN's Josh Minnie takes us to their latest dig. We're at Kennedy Cooley, about 26 miles directly north of Rudyard and two and a half miles south of the Canadian border, where five paleontologists are excavating what looks to likely be a new species of armored dinosaur. Husband and wife paleontologists Liz and Denver were taking students on a field trip in the Cooley two years ago when they spotted armored plates sticking out of the hillside. They came back two weeks ago to see what they could dig up. Um, we didn't know before we started digging how complete this dinosaur was going to be, but we found its head and we found parts of its armor and plates, and so it, it should be a new species. You can see the bottom of it down here, and then the mid shaft is uh, quite nice and solid here, and then it widens out to the joint. Paleontologists say this armored dinosaur skeleton is 79 million years old and that skeletons of dinosaurs from this unique time period keep popping up. Over the last 10 or so years uh, that I've been digging here, we've found some really great fossils and many of them are new species because of the exact age of the rocks where we are right now. A local high school science teacher explored the Cooley about 35 years ago and told the Reddings they were sitting on a dinosaur boneyard. So the Reddings invited top paleontologists to their property and discovered it was one of the best fossil sites in the world. We do it for these students. And the honor we got out of that was looking when they started as a grad student, now most of them are doctors in their field of study and all have just done amazing things in the field of paleontology. Liz in Denver will be bringing the skeleton back to Dickinson Museum Center within the week. Over the next few years, they will clean, study, and make copies of the skeleton. Near Rudyard, Josh Many, MTN News. Now the copies of those skeletons will be kept at the Dickinson Museum Center in Dickinson, North Dakota, while the original skeleton will be brought back to Rudyard at the Depot Museum there in roughly five years.